Okay, so today we are taking a look at the Raylib engine for the Dreamcast, although notably it's also available on a vast range of systems, but specifically this is a Dreamcast version we're taking a look at. And it was initially ported by PSX Dev. Now it's a very capable engine from what we've seen. We've seen it essentially handle tasks like rendering of a 3D scan, which also at the same time included real-time point lighting moving around the scan itself which to be fair as you can see it's quite something you really didn't expect to see that on the sega dreamcast the person in the 3d scan being very well known sega fan keith apicary now some of you probably know who he is i'm sure you all do because you're all sega fans here now brielle garcia who created this demo in question has gone on to explain how easy the engine is compared to others in fact including the fact that the syntax function itself is a lot easier to stand than on other engines raylib itself even on their website goes on to explain that it's not just a flashy interface but it's more for the actual purest of coding so to speak currently the engine does fall short on covering audio compatibilities that unfortunately there is no audio there at all and therefore may stop some people getting involved in it at all for the sega dreamcast as advised before though the engine itself isn't dc specific in fact there are a few functions that the raylib engine normally can provide for other systems but doesn't on the dc itself and also vice versa there's functions on the dreamcast itself that raylib doesn't even cater for so hey it's pick your poison here with engines there's so many out there now and this one is looking interesting but for me it needs that audio cap it needs that audio compatibility what are your thoughts on the engine like i said i believe maybe pretty good in some respects but does fall short in others but at the end of the day developers will always choose their favorite whatever is easiest to work with and offers the greatest range of compatibility maybe this wasn't maybe this one isn't it maybe it is let me know as always like comment and subscribe it's Alex signing out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. As well as that, you can also back the channel on Patreon. QR code is down below. But obviously you can check out this video. You can also check out that video. And on that note, it's Al signing out.